think we are going to reach 15 now. Thank you very much uh, for everyone to whoever has joined. Okay. So can you people just put in the chat box? Please come to the chat box and uh, can you put where are you from? Your name and where are you from? I think we are having uh, many international participants. Thank you very much for joining. Can you just put your name and uh, where are you from? Tahirin from Pakistan, very nice. Rinku Jain, Delhi. Revati from Malaysia. Hi, Revati. And uh, Mohammed Sabir from Jammu and Kashmir. Sharmista from West Bengal. Banu uh, from Sri Lanka. Mahabu from Trivandrum. Nahim from Kashmir. Bangalore. Shoka from uh, Dubai. Swaziland. Wow, that's great. I'm very happy to uh, meet you. Mansi from India. Kanchana from Pune. Pallavi from Gwalior. That's very nice. That's very uh, nice to meet all of you. Uh, Fatma, ma'am, are you there? Anyone from uh, team Preeti? Preeti, uh, Fatma, anyone? Shola, Shola, uh, uh, yeah, Shaurat, 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 you have to tell yes, or team one minute, team, team anyone from Emocat team, can you talk, Shola, can you call Fatma to uh, join the class? Okay. Okay. So, Kratia, Kratia? Yes, sir. Good evening, Kratia. sir. Good evening. Kratia, can you create a WhatsApp group? Okay. WhatsApp group? Yeah. Uh, certification HIV, uh, mm -hmm. uh, HIV and AIDS. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. And uh, share the uh, uh, WhatsApp uh, link here after uh, 30 minutes, not now. Okay. Okay. Share it, uh, exactly. Uh, 9.55. Okay. Okay, are, sir. Otherwise, in private window, you share it to me if you are going somewhere. Okay. Okay, will, sure, sir. Yeah. 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 Share it uh, to I me. I left the message for Fatima. Yeah, no problem. Now, Pratik has joined. Okay, team. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, team, I think uh, Mansi, actually, yesterday we started it. Yesterday training, it is available on the YouTube. You know, I will uh, cover yesterday's portion also. Yesterday, actually, uh, HIV AIDS awareness day. HIV and AIDS, uh, we have to uh, feel in all over the world. All over the world, the number of people who are affected by AIDS, it is coming down. All over the world and in, even in India too. That is one of the aspects which uh, we can be uh, proud of. But still, but still, the, it is not zero. It is not zero. So always there is a, a, a requirement for uh, uh, all the uh, medical uh, field, special specialties, particularly counseling, particularly counseling, because HIV needs counseling uh, at all the places. There are many new people have joined. Yesterday, few people have joined. So the people who have joined yesterday, uh, please don't answer. Okay. Uh, there are many people joined only today. Okay. So, uh, can you people, uh, whoever joined today, can you tell the difference between HIV and AIDS? What is okay. the difference between AIDS and uh, HIV? Sir, can I Rinku join you? Yeah, yeah, Rinku sir, join. Yes, whoever has not joined yesterday. Yeah. Sir, HIV means uh, human, uh, human intensive virus. Uh, AIDS means acquiring immune defense syndrome. Yeah, anyone else? Yeah, okay, thank but, you. Uh, uh, I was just trying to tell that HIV is the full form as human immunodeficiency virus and it just uh, gives the symptoms of HIV. And once after some period of time, many mainly months or years, it gets converted to AIDS, that is acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. Okay, what the some days, what is the time period? 
Uh, Sir, so, it may be up to it may be from uh, one to two years to up to six to seven years. The only HIV infection is that it may not turn to AIDS. So I want to say something. Yeah, Mansi, please go ahead. So AIDS is the last stage of HIV infection, and HIV is the initial stage when the actually the body immune system is badly damaged uh, because of the virus. So then it is called. Uh, AIDS, basically. Super, super, Bansi, super. So, actually, it comes, the AIDS comes uh, after uh, maybe seven to eight years. So, uh, in the initial stages, it is uh, HIV. So, counseling is required at three places, okay? One, uh, what are the three areas, three uh, stages in which counseling may be required to people, okay? The first one is, Okay, uh, the people who have joined uh, uh, today only, what are the three areas, uh, three times uh, counseling which may be required for people? Anyone? Okay, the three uh, period is, <clears throat> one is somebody has a doubt. Somebody has a doubt. For example, uh, I uh, one college boy one college boy came to me uh, stating that uh, he uh, fears that he has got AIDS or HIV. People will be using the word of AIDS only. Then we used to psychoeducate them. Uh, HIV. First, you may get HIV. From HIV, it becomes AIDS. So, uh, why that you fear? We asked him, why that you uh, fear? So, uh, uh, the uh, boy told uh, sir actually uh, we uh, we along with my friends we went uh, outside so there we had uh, come into contact with a transgender and uh, we had uh, see certain uh, words i will have to use it there is no other go when we are talking about hiv and aids so there was a transgender and we had uh, some oral sex I fear that I might have uh, contradicted uh, HIV. So uh, then I asked him, okay, further, uh, how many days were He told, sir, it is already 15 days over, and I'm getting fever. I'm getting fever. I'm getting headache. Okay, all these aspects he told. Then uh, I asked him, uh, okay, on that particular time, uh, during that, whether you were using condom or uh, no condom. He told, uh, sir, uh, I was using condom. And uh, after that also, I checked it, uh, and it was not uh, uh, it was not uh, filled up. So it was intact. So uh, uh, what is that you did? So he told, uh, sir, actually, after that, I got a fear, and I went to one uh, Ayurveda doctor. Uh, uh, not Ayurveda, Siddha doctor. Okay. He uh, prescribed me medicines for 30,000 rupees. With the before 15 uh, days, okay. So he prescribed me medicine for 30,000 rupees. He told if you eat this, uh, HIV will not come. Now, these are uh, this is where actually people, when they don't have the proper knowledge, proper aspects, they will get cheated by uh, the people. Then I told you are a college going student, uh, you would have uh, you should have gone and uh, referred in Google. So you told, sir, I have seen the Google, I have uh, verified everything. So as far as uh, what I did with this, AIDS will not, uh, HIV will not come. But even then I have fear. Even then I have fear. So uh, in these uh, areas, we need to give counseling. The first stage, the people who uh, fears that they got AIDS, they may come for counseling, counseling them. That is the first aspect. The second aspect is, Really, uh, uh, some people, uh, some person, they know that they may have, they have the, uh, uh, so uh, they were able to feel that, okay, I might have acquired pre-HIV uh, counseling. So pre-HIV counseling is before they uh, undertake the test, we tell them what is that they can expect. Okay, what is this test? What is that they can ex uh, expect? All those aspects. Then, Post, post uh, test uh, counsel. Post test, either it may be negative or positive. 
So accordingly, uh, giving them uh, the counsel. Then, all through the, yeah, somebody has uh, got HIV means, throughout their life, they may uh, require uh, counseling. Because, uh, because of the nature, uh, uh, nature and uh, uh, many aspects, which we are going to discuss, they may require counseling. So in, the, in these stages, uh, people may come for counseling. Every state, every government, every uh, 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 nation, they have uh, counselors, specifically uh, trained counselors, specifically trained counselors uh, in all the hospitals, in all the hospitals, most of the hospitals. For example, now I am from Chennai. Uh, in Chennai, we have a government hospital, GH, uh, Asia's biggest hospital. Asia's, Asia's biggest hospital. So uh, there, uh, a separate uh, center is there. There, the doctors are there, psychiatrists are there. So they will be orienting. They will be orienting the people. Uh, so every uh, state is having, not only uh, uh, Tamil Nadu, every state is having for that matter. And even in India, we have a, a central, there is a ministry uh, which, uh, uh, which takes into uh, all these uh, aspects. They are working on it. And they were able to reduce also. They were able to reduce uh, the level of uh, AIDS. In 2017, uh, India was uh, the third, uh, third, third highest uh, uh, people uh, affected in AIDS in 2017. But after 2017, it, it started reducing. Now it has started reducing uh, thanks to the efforts of uh, government, government and also NGO. Non-governmental organizations, they play a very vital role in this record. So where we, uh, we are all coming. For example, I am uh, doing my private practice. People may come, people may come stating that, see, I have a doubt. I, I might have got, uh, I have a fear. Or uh, pre or post, they may come. So how that we have to handle? How that we have to handle? How that we have to uh, refer them to the proper people that uh, we should know. And mainly uh, we should know about uh, the various aspects of HIV and uh, AIDS. That is what we are going to uh, see today. So uh, I'm just opening the presentation. Uh, so uh, thank oh. you. It is already 100 uh, people uh, joined. Thank you very much. It's very nice. Okay. It's very nice to see all of you. One minute. One second. I'm opening the slide. Yeah. So, uh, is it visible? No, sir. Whether the presentation is visible? No, sir. No, sir. Yeah, one minute. Is it, uh, okay, one minute. 109, that was very nice. So, team, uh, during the program, I will be uh, sharing the link. What's yes, up? Sir, it is possible, uh, visible, sir. Yeah. So during the program, I will be sharing the uh, link, your WhatsApp link. Kindly join. Tomorrow, uh, we will be having uh, a, a quiz. I will be sharing a quiz. And uh, you, you will be able to take out the, uh, what do you call the certificate. I will tell you during the end of the program how to take the certificate. Okay. This comes with the evaluation. And uh, okay. So these all are the few uh, government organizations which deals about uh, AIDS. Yesterday, people would have attended, maybe a reputation for them, but quickly I will take it, okay? So, uh, the thing is, around 36.9 million people were living uh, with HIV uh, worldwide from 2017, okay? So, uh, certain aspects, I am forwarding this. You people can just uh, uh, 
the, uh, read all these aspects. India as the third largest HIV epidemic in the world in, in 2017. So uh, now it is reduced. Now it is reduced. As far as India is uh, concerned, the highest population prevalence is uh, in the following five states. Tamil Nadu, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Manipur and Malala. These are all the five states. The prevalence, high prevalence of AIDS is available. So a mode of uh, transmission, mode of transmission in uh, India. Uh, so uh, if you see, uh, uh, these are the various aspects, uh, sexual IDUS, blood and blood products, perinatal and unidentified. So these are the aspects in depth that we will discuss. Now try, let us try to understand what is this uh, HIV uh, stands for. Human immunodeficiency virus. It stands for human. So this uh, particular virus can only infect human beings. So it will not infect the animals. I stands for immunodeficiency. So HIV, what it does is it weakens the immune system by destroying the important cells, important cells that fight disease and infection. That is why the people who uh, uh, get HIV now, First, they get a fever and a cold and flu. Then it uh, increases and the diarrhea. Because uh, the immune system it is uh, that is being destroyed, that destroys the important cells. A deficient immune system cannot protect you. Very simple system. So uh, V stands for virus. A virus can only reproduce itself by taking over a cell in the body of its host. So this is what HIV. So how this uh, then uh, AIDS, what is AIDS? AIDS stands for acquired. So uh, AIDS uh, is not something that someone inherited from their parents like other things. It is acquired. So you acquire AIDS. I stands for immuno. Body's immune system includes all the organs and cells that work to fight of infection or disease. That is immuno. D stands for deficiency. Someone get AIDS when their immune system is deficient or is not working the way it should. We are having many syndrome. A syndrome is a collection of symptoms and the signs of disease. AIDS is a syndrome rather than a single disease. It is a complex illness with a wide range of uh, symptoms. What are the other syndrome we are having? What are the other syndromes? There are many syndrome uh, is available. Uh, sir, I have a question on the same uh, yeah. Severe acute respiratory syndrome, SARS, SARS. Okay. Down syndrome, down syndrome. Down syndrome. Yeah, very nice. Suman Lutra, very nice. What are the other syndrome we are having? Uh, Tourette syndrome. Uh, so fragile X syndrome. Very nice. <coughs> Nephrotic syndrome. Very nice. Then Lindfelter syndrome. So there are uh, uh, syndrome. Yeah. Okay. So uh, what is uh, this uh, uh, Down syndrome? What is Down syndrome? Sir, it is a genetic disorder. Yeah. Very nice. So it's acquired uh, immunodeficiency. Yeah. So acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. Yates. Okay. HIV, so how uh, HIV versus AIDS? What is HIV and what is AIDS? HIV causes AIDS by attacking the immune systems. That is CD4 T cells. So there is something called CD4 T cells, which is uh, actually 1,500 to 2,000 will be in the body. That reduces uh, considerably. Slowly it starts re uh, reducing. When someone is having AIDS, that uh, comes to uh, 200. So uh, normal CDC for count is between 500 to 1,500 T cells per uh, uh, UL of blood, while AIDS CD4 count is less than 200 T cells per uh, blood. AIDS viral load, uh, load is about 55,000 HIV RNA copies per ml of blood. So these all are the... Uh, on average, it takes approximately 10 years to develop AIDS from initial infection. 
So it takes uh, 10 years. As a person's CD4 count decreases, he or she is more prone to opportunistic infection. There are many infections will start coming. So that it is called a syndrome. Because it is a collection of, sin, uh, collection of uh, uh, infections and it is a collection of uh, diseases. So uh, let us try to understand about the various HIV myths. Okay. So uh, my uh, I am HIV positive. My life is over. So whether that is uh, true or false. Yes, sir. False, sir. False. 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 Why, false. why false? Why false? Because, sir, life is not over. Because uh, already medicine are available for HIV. So patient can, uh, patient is pass to push ho sakta hai, sir. Okay, medicines available hai. Cure hai. It's a life over nahi hai, sir. People can live with it for years to go. Sir, is, are the medicines available for AIDS or HIV? See, the medicines which are available, those are to keep it in control, the virus huh. level in control. It, is, it, it can, can never it. cure it. It can never cure it. So those are called ART medicines, basically. Yes, yes. Very nice. So, Very so nice. that is because it affects yeah, the DNA and the retroviral therapies. So, yeah, some therapy, therapeutic medicines are given, which keeps the viral load under control. Under control. So when uh, somebody is having HIV, see, in those days, in the initial period, People have to take uh, so many medicines. Nowadays, it has been reduced to uh, three or four tablets. Okay. As Sriya uh, Rai Bose uh, correctly uh, pointed out and told, it uh, reduces the load. It reduces the load. And uh, by following the proper diet, by following the proper lifestyle, okay, by following the uh, proper values, Suppose, for example, uh, someone who is having HIV positive. Uh, again, if he indulges in uh, 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 the unwanted sex, okay, then uh, definitely there will be problems, isn't it? So, uh, when they follow these aspects, uh, the life can be, uh, they can also live uh, a normal life by uh, following these aspects. I am straight and I don't use food drugs. I want to uh, become HIV positive. Okay. So uh, what is the meaning of I am straight? Actually? I am straight. What uh, When I say, when somebody says I am straight, uh, people who have attended the class yesterday, please don't answer. Okay. Straight yes, people are those who are I'm not straight. coming under LGBTQ uh, group. Those are male to female uh, uh, sexual habits. I think I am I am straight means his willpower is so strong. No, uh, no, Abdullah. So, uh, team, anyone else? A uh, little bit uh, extra uh, information. When someone says I am straight, what does that mean? What it means? Sir, maybe I don't involve in any illegal or unethical things. Um, because there is a myth that uh, HIV and HIV or AIDS can be passed on no. by. Okay, uh, Aniket, uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Actually, when, I, when somebody says I am straight, that means they are heterosexuals. They are heterosexuals. That is, they are attracted towards the opposite sex. So, uh, heterosexual is normal. Okay, I am straight. When somebody says I am straight, uh, that means they are attracted towards the uh, opposite sex. Your men is getting attracted to the women or women are getting attracted to the men. I am straight. So, uh, when somebody says, I am straight, I won't become HIV positive. That is also a myth. Because you may be straight, but if the other partner, if they are having HIV, that you may uh, contract. You may uh, uh, contract it. I had a, a client. I had a client. It happened around uh, four five years back. She called me from some place and she told, uh, sir, actually, uh, she was around uh, 36, 37 years old. She told that, uh, sir, actually, uh, uh, in the last uh, six months, I started having affair with a boy. With a boy. Uh, uh, so, uh, uh, we had, we had some, uh, uh, sometimes we had it. 
now i am getting doubt sir that boy is having uh, that boy is having this unprotected sex elsewhere also so i am getting doubt and he is also getting uh, fever uh, flu etc and he is also under fear that he may he may have hiv now i am also in fear now uh, uh, what is to be done now see uh, she is a uh, stride but the thing is she is having uh, she is having unprotected sex with uh, the other people so there may be a chance there may be a chance uh, to come and also uh, through the uh, address all those things we will discuss uh, a little bit more you can't get hiv from uh, oral sex is it uh, true or false 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 sir it is false, false. false. it is false sometimes through oral sex also it is it may be possible the uh, we cannot uh, rule out my partner and i are both uh, hiv positive so there is no need to use a condom whether it is true or false uh false false even then uh, even then it has to be used i can get hiv by being around people who are hiv positive when people are coughing and sneezing uh, can uh, can anyone get uh, hiv no they can't uh, through insect bites no uh, through touching and hugging no never no, no sir water food and kissing no sir so uh, 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 these all are the uh, various aspects which uh, we should know so that we will be able to uh, guide the people uh, properly so public baths handshakes work or school contact using telephones uh, sharing cups glasses plates or mm-hmm. other utensils through these means hiv is not spread now types of hiv there are two types of hiv so uh, one is more virulent uh, responsible for worldwide epidemic and uh, severity of infection varies from person to person hiv1 hiv2 primarily found in western africa not transmitted as efficiently now hiv2 has been uh, uh, more or less it has been eradicated now this is uh, hiv1 has come from uh, this and uh, hiv2 from this how it would have come it would have come uh, because people either came into a uh, contact contact with the infected blood or ingestion of uncooked or uh, undercooked meat this is how uh, it started uh, spreading so the earliest uh, known hiv infection is 1959 so all these things i am just uh, the brief history of a uh, modern epidemic i am just uh, leaving it i will share the ppt you can go through it okay so the first indications these all are the first indications so the first time the in 1982 the term aids is used for the first time 1982 1983 uh, institute pasteur isolates hiv1 cdc issues warning to uh, blood banks about potential problem so in 1984 dr robert uh, claims the discovery of hiv so uh, so four phases of hiv wherein the counseling uh, may be required for the people the first one is window period so the window period what is the window period see somebody got uh, somebody is having a doubt okay somebody uh, had a unprotected sex or somebody is having a, uh, a doubt what is a window period time from exposure to hiv to time when antibodies can be detected through an hiv test that is what incubation period what is the window period yes sir very one anyone yes yeah, shriya 3 months 14 days anyone window period is 3 months very nice very nice so the period of time after you may have been exposed to hiv but before a test can detect it at least 3 to 
so uh, uh, it is better to test even at six months three months uh, somebody is test, uh, testing and it comes negative then it is better to test at uh, six months also antibody test cannot accurately identify infection during this time that is uh, uh, three months suppose four months six months uh, maybe it will be uh, uh, it will be able to uh, identify this period is very very crucial in counseling because someone uh, may be in the constant uh, uh, constant uh, stress so what are the possible aspects uh, will happen uh, during this window period for the suppose for people uh, who who uh, feel that okay i might have uh, got hiv uh, what are the different uh, mentally how uh, how they will be what are the possible uh, things will may happen to them phobia and depression phobia depression yeah then fear and anxiety anxiety, fear and anxiety. very nice yes anxiety yes suicidal thoughts very nice yogesh yogesh is very nice one of the aspect they may get is see when people uh, they don't because uh, this has uh, some kind of stigma attached to it so people may not uh, like to talk it with others so they may uh, uh, try to uh, 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 just uh, end their life so these all are the areas counseling is required so in this period uh, it is giving them motivation raising their self esteem giving them self confidence educating them on hiv and aids trying to understand them uh, why they get this fear from that you will be you yourself will be able to understand whether uh, what are the chances okay yeah assumption you will be able to make so uh, based on that based on that you can uh, give counseling in these aspects actually uh, motivational interviewing it's one of the wonderful aspect uh, motivational interviewing and also uh, psycho educating them on the uh, the basics of uh, cbt so basics of cbt how we can uh, uh, how we can uh, try and psycho educate them to uh, reduce the stress anyone yes anyone anyone cbt uh, the basic uh, the principle the basic principle we can psycho educate them to reduce their stress level okay now how it's a cognitive triangle sir yes very nice okay how cognitive triangle and before cognitive triangle there is the basic principle the situation the situation is i fear i fear that i might have got a uh, hiv okay the situation that uh, i fear uh, Uh, i have uh, stress i have anxiety i have depression okay uh this is the situation now uh, the behavior the behavior is uh, i feel uh, panic i feel like uh, suicidal tendencies okay depression all these things the behavior one is behavior one is the situation now whether the situation creates the behavior or you are thinking about the situation creates a behavior which one creates the fear thinking sir thinking the basic of uh, cbt the basic of cbt the basic of cbt we can uh, train them and tell that see uh, whatever you are having is you are thinking that is your assumptions for example that lady i told uh, ma'am uh, what is that you are doing now she told uh, sir now uh, i feel very uh, guilty and i i am not uh, i am not having any kind of relationship with that boy i stopped it now i have stopped and she started crying she told i have stopped now but whatever i did definitely karma definitely karma i will get punished my children will get punished all these things uh, she started telling then uh, i tried to pacify her and told whatever you are having now that is your assumption your assumption and uh, uh, the thing is uh, these all are the thing it takes minimum 3 uh, to 6 months to uh, get it, to get tested and to know 
how that uh, 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 you know that the person the boy whether he has gone to team please mute your call team please mute your call so uh, whether uh, he has gone to uh, uh, to someone who uh, who is having hiv or not you may not know you may not know you are just assuming so this thought only creates the stress uh, 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 we have to wait for six months and these all are the exercise do do yoga do meditation okay uh, uh, keep up your lifestyle stop uh, 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 talking that uh, with that fellow every day stop talking and uh, even if he says uh, i am having fever i am having cough or flu like that if he tells uh, don't uh, take it in doubt but uh, see uh, check with him whether he has gone uh, whether he has taken a test and what is the result that only always uh, try to keep a check then after 6 month uh, the actually the boy checked the boy was not the boy was not having hiv then uh, when the boy is not having uh, hiv so she told sir uh, hey, even i don't want to check because other than that boy i never had so he is not having hiv so i don't want to test so after uh, two months actually uh, she became all right because the fear was killing her more than the actual uh, aspect the thought so cbt was the best aspect so window period counseling may be required antibody test cannot accurately identify infection during this time so uh, the stages the second stages okay so uh, 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 yes symptomatic that is short flu like illness swollen glands fatigue diarrhea weight loss fevers occurs one to six weeks after the infection for some people there will be no symptoms all all infected person can infect other people there will not be any symptom but infected person can uh, infect others lasts for an average of uh, 10 years now this uh, this particular uh, period hiv antibodies are uh, detectable in the blood so this is also a period where the counseling is required uh, once uh, if it is known that he is, is having hiv oh my god sir it's a so uh, once somebody is having hiv then uh, the counseling if somebody comes for counseling it is always uh, increasing their uh, confidence level self esteem and uh, remove uh, try to uh, work on their guilt try to work on their guilt these all are the three aspects uh, important even here cbt and the motivational interview that is uh, that works uh, wonderful so the the next stage is so clinical stage 1 in clinical stage 1 so short flu like illness uh, occurs one to six weeks after infection uh, persistent generalized uh, lipo dendrobal now these are the medical uh, terminology so uh, these are the areas where it comes uh, definitely the doctors they will be uh, they will be referring them to psychiatrist okay in these circumstances uh, there is very less a uh, less chance that people will come for a come to a private practitioner so here i think uh, everybody is private practitioner then at this level there will be minimum chance of coming to a private practitioner because wherever they go for taking the treatment there itself uh, uh, the counselor or psychiatrist will be there they will be uh, assisting so uh, here moderate weight loss everything will be there i am sharing this uh, certain things i just uh, i will skip it uh, whatever is uh, not that much required so in stage 3 uh, unexplained uh, severe weight loss will be there uh, stage 3 uh, so unexplained persistent fever so these are the aspects will be there then stage 4 stage 4 is the critical uh, stage that is hiv wasting syndrome the wasting syndrome is defined as a weight loss of at least 10% of the presence of uh, in the presence of diarrhea or chronic weakness and documented fever for at least 30 days that is not attributable to a concurrent conditions other than uh, hiv infection itself that is a clinical stage 4 so uh, 
so uh, so these are the times so definitely uh, a counseling uh, will be required but that will be taken care by the uh, medical doctors wherever a person is admitted so private practitioner may uh, play a very very uh, little role here in any country in all the countries definitely a doctor will be there and uh, uh, people will will be uh, uh, the uh, the particular center will be having a psychologist or a counselors so they are also what they will uh, try to do is improving their uh, self esteem and uh, working on their self uh, 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 working on their uh, positive lifestyle okay getting up in the morning uh, trying to uh, get on with others and uh, playing okay creating some uh, past times in this uh, stage 2 stage 3 stage 4 Uh, creating uh, a atmosphere, a environment wherein they will be able to uh, smile, laugh, and uh, live. This is what uh, will be the primary aspect which uh, they will be uh, doing. So, uh, so this all I will just uh, I'm forward it. I will uh, you people can. read it so how uh, how is hiv spread hiv is passed from uh, person to person through the exchange of bodily fluids four main ways unprotected sex with people living with hiv vaginal oral or anal infected stage so these are the four main ways so uh, these are the aspects we should be uh, so when we are asking for the first time when people come with a doubt na with you so these are the questions we have to ask with whom they had sex whether it was protector or unprotected uh, most of the time people may say that i was using condom but i i do not know uh, what has uh, what was the uh, what happened to it okay all these aspects the another one is infected stage but this infected stage and infected blood that is uh, 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 that is being the chances nowadays nowadays most of the blood banks and most uh, most of the hospitals uh, they are very very strict in all the aspects particularly india so uh, through this means uh, the uh, hiv spread is uh, uh, more or less it is uh, coming down drastically so that from 2017 to uh, 2022 there is a a change so exposure to hiv before or during birth or through breastfeeding so uh, this is uh, one of the area so what fluids can uh, transmit hiv blood vaginal fluids semen or breast milk so these four aspects can uh, transmit hiv uh, through drug use that is Yeah, Mansi. Uh, sir, I just want to ask that as you uh, told that HIV can spread from breast milk, so can uh, like <coughs> HIV mother uh, spread uh, the child HIV? Can child be detected HIV <coughs> positive? See, that is what uh, through breast milk uh, they say uh, you can be. It can suppose if the mother is having. Yeah. See, uh, there is if the mother is having HIV. if she is pregnant yeah. there are medicines there are medicines uh, to find out whether the child is having and all those things uh, after uh, after giving birth when the child is uh, having a breast milk uh, 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 then uh, the chances are uh, uh, very high the chances are very high so generally uh, they don't uh, advise it what fluids can transmit a child so breast milk transmit hiv <clears throat> even in uh, world health organization uh, the list you know the four aspects uh, these are the four aspects it's uh, it is mentioned so breast milk uh, they may be immediately suppose if the mother is having the uh, hospital management they will uh, try to separate they will uh, only for this aspect they may uh, try to give child uh, something else not the mother's uh, breast milk Uh, as far as they they will completely avoid it. so sharing needles without sterilization increases the chances of uh, contracting uh, hiv 
so uh, particularly uh, nowadays uh, people uh, even for shaving na when we are uh, when people are visiting the things nowadays it is not happening in those days uh, they'll be using the same uh, uh, blade and all nowadays it is not happening it has been uh, reduced uh, drastically even after this corona it has become much more uh, stricter but we sh- uh, 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 always uh, 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 taking precaution is always best so uh, through sex through sex it is intercourse uh, penile penetration into the vagina anal and uh, ore so these all are also uh, these all are the uh, areas where hiv can be uh, contracted and uh, mother to baby uh, mother to baby so uh, if the mother is having mother is having, if the mother is having uh, during birth and uh, before birth and during the birth but uh, nowadays there are uh, many tests many tests uh, to find out whether the child is having or not there are many uh, ifs and buts are available so uh, cannot get hiv from tears saliva sweat urine of an hiv infected person now we will just i will go into the counseling part the counseling part uh the hiv rates are going down now it is going down now because uh, uh sex education is started uh, in most of the places condom use it is uh, much more than uh, the previous years and uh, mostly people uh, mostly this multiple partners has come down so because of all these things uh, nowadays hiv rates are coming down so further education is required uh, for that only actually we are celebra- uh, we are creating the december 1 as a awareness uh, hiv awareness hiv aids awareness week so as psychologist and uh, counselors we all have a, a role in it to promote to promote mental health to promote mental health means uh, one uh, partner one partner uh, uh one partner aspect we have to promote so uh, most of the time most of the time this multiple partner uh, where it arises See, mostly what happens now mostly what happens uh our counselors play a very vital role here they play a very vital role here when someone whether it is men or women when they go for extra marital affairs that is where the problem starts because you uh, people may not really know the other guy particularly in this uh, social media age most of the love affairs it starts uh, it starts in mobile and it's end in mobile it starts in mobile most of the love and it's it ends in mobile so uh, people may not know each other fully and uh, when they uh, start interacting with each other or uh, having uh, unprotected sex then uh, really it uh, goes into problem so it, when uh, we promote mental health when we promote uh, counseling particularly the post marital counseling etc what happens is the extra marital affairs the rate that will come up. when it comes down also uh, definitely uh, this kind of uh, aspects will not happen so uh, nowadays mostly i am seeing most of the extra marital affairs suppose in a month if i am getting a, a 20 uh, uh, clients okay minimum 5 uh, uh, to 10 uh, clients uh, that will be uh, extra marital affairs and problem in the home so uh, this is one area which has to be uh, which has to be attacked acha okay i will uh, go to the what is time now okay just uh, five more minutes i will take okay i am sharing this uh, you will be able to okay so uh, hiv is not going down uh, because of the following reasons Uh, in those days at a, uh, nowadays it is uh, going down so what is the testing procedure this is uh, elisa test okay so 
So these all are the test which is being uh, administered. For all the tests, it is uh, three to six months. So uh, treatment options, all those things, uh, I'm just leaving it. Okay, uh, I'm leaving it. I will uh, straight away go to the uh, important aspect. So monogamous relationship, you're mutually monogamous. Only one sex partner relationship with a person who is not infected with HIV is the best option for preventing it. So, uh, for example, uh, premarital counseling. Premarital counseling, it is not happening uh, mostly, particularly in India. Uh, from Yamokar, we are talking with several, uh, uh, what do you call it, the wedding uh, portals to include a premarital counseling also, but uh, none of the portals are ready. So, uh, uh, but we are we have not lost hope. We want to include, see, when you go to any uh, web portal, now they are having photography, they are having uh, 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 the whole marriage all. Every aspect is available, beauty shame, everything is available. But uh, premarital counseling is not available. But we are fighting for it. So, uh, particularly, uh, we will have to uh, uh, educate uh, people during at least premarital counseling also. The uh, how to use the condom properly. So this is to be. Uh, this is not only uh, for not for uh, HIV alone. Okay, not for HIV alone. Immediately after uh, marriage, uh, the couples they may uh, like to have child afterwards, but they may not know the proper usage of uh, condom. So in premarital counseling, uh, during premarital counseling, always it is better to uh, take a. a, a, a Training on uh, the uh, how to use condom. Mostly people will be knowing, but uh, if they have any uh, doubt, now that uh, that can be clear. So uh, this is what uh, this is where the very important aspect. Okay. Okay. So uh, when uh, the counseling may be required. Okay. So, uh, integrate clinical risk assessment, HIV prevention education and counseling into HIV pretest counseling. That is what I told. So, conduct a clinical risk assessment and facilitate the development of a plan for risk reduction. Now, clinical risk assessment is, before coming, there is a sheet in which they will uh, tick mark, okay, whether uh, there is a chance for HIV, okay. So, the risk assessment, uh, I will share it in the groups, okay, which you people can go through it. Assess the risk within the HIV test window period. Apply basic counseling micro skills to HIV pre-test counseling. The micro skills are empathy, connecting with them, and uh, giving them uh, 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 a non-judgmental uh, uh, approach. Okay. Uh, no advice. No advice. Okay. These all are the micro skills which has to be practiced during HIV pre uh, test counseling. Then, so uh, assess clients coping strategies and the psychosocial support system. So this is very important uh, coping strategies, uh, uh, intellectual coping strategies and emotional coping strategies. This we have to uh, see, assess, and uh, we have to uh, give appropriate uh, counseling. Mostly uh, the Bigs and uh, Hamilton can be used to measure the anxiety levels. And if it is very high, uh, uh, definitely a psychotist help is required. And a psychosocial support system. What is the support system in the home? And uh, developing the proper support system is uh, very, very uh, important. So a major component of test HIV pre-counseling is the completion of a risk assessment. Uh, actual against perceived level of uh, risk. So uh, require the counselor to ask explicit, explicit questions about various practices of an individual, including sexual practice, uh, drug using practice, all these things. Uh, uh, it is not that I will not use that word. I will not use the word of sex, this and that. All those things will not be uh, useful in uh, HIV AIDS counseling. You will have to openly ask, okay, uh, how many times you had sex? How many times uh, you had unprotected sex? Who is the partner? Whether the partner uh, 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 trustworthy? Any question which you feel relevant that should be asked, 
the risk assessment uh, uh, the aspect i will share it in the group so uh, we have to create a greater awareness prevention counseling and education is must uh, even when we are giving the pre counseling uh, aspect itself because if somebody suppose the person is not having a change then the prevention counseling and education will help him uh, not to get in the future isn't it so prevention counseling is must determination of necessary health investigations what are the other aspects uh, which the person is having feedback to the client regarding levels of risk associated with various practices implications for treatment so uh, when we are uh, doing all these aspects we have to uh, uh, keep these all of the things in the mind consideration of the window period 3 to 6 months in the 3 to 6 months you will be uh, the uh, counselor may be dealing with the people so the various aspects they have to uh, take it into consideration consideration of uh, pregnancy and uh, other aspects one to educate one to one education and clarification clinical decision making early versus late infection management infection management these all are the thing the clinical psychologist will do or a psychiatrist will do usually so other medical in uh, investigations are going on suppose uh, if you are a psychologist and if they are coming you can just uh, uh, assure them privacy and uh, confidentiality okay uh, uh, then you can uh, you can refer them to uh, the appropriate uh, people so uh, we are coming to the end of the sessions okay so these all are the use uh, open ended questions no yes or no questions okay start with the least controversial area or the area of least concern for the client so always the least controversial okay uh give the calls least controversial aspects team the rest of the things i am uh, yes shola jai i will forward it in the uh, group okay now i am sharing uh, uh, kratika are you there kratika acha kratika is not there yes am, yeah oh, yes sir yeah. yeah i am sharing the team i am sharing uh, a whatsapp uh, group okay i have shared a whatsapp group in the chat box okay yes sir chat. i want every one of you to join tomorrow i will be uh, giving you a first i will be sharing you this uh, particular uh, ppt okay and a small little bit of information which is required i will be sharing with you all go through it completely then tomorrow evening i will be releasing the quiz okay before that time kindly go through it then you will be you may uh, answer the questions and uh, take the certificate okay meanwhile this uh, recording will be in the youtube the recording is in the youtube if you have any doubts you can uh, see it if you have any other uh, doubts okay so manji why to start from least controversial area so that they become comfortable now manji see see uh, first someone comes immediately suppose if i ask na so uh, 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 did you have unprotected sex with uh, someone that will put them uh, in embarrassment for that the least uh, when we start now uh, yeah please come in so uh, uh, as far as uh, see this usually spreads through sex so may know about your sexual life may know about your sexual life that is uh, that is very general question okay instead of asking uh, did you have uh, unprotected sex so the least uh, controversial area that will be uh, best to start then slowly you have to go and confront it then open ended questions so that uh, they become open they uh, become open they uh, create a friendly atmosphere so that you are also able to uh, body call create empathy okay so please join in this okay and uh, team uh, coming 20th uh, we are going to uh, start this uh, particular program this is a, a one of the first program in the world to offer this kind of program i don't think anyone uh, else has so far uh, uh, did this kind of programs okay just i am sharing with you the things okay so uh, this is one of the it is uh, 
the world's first program for trainers, psychologist and life coach. So uh, we are going to create 50 uh, tra uh, trainers, 50 life coach. Uh, uh, they will be uh, all the three, life coach, a trainer and a psychologist, a counselor maybe. But uh, counseling, we are uh, we are not expecting only a counselor. Even a life coach can join. Because uh, 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 I have seen that the children, uh, particularly studying in 11th standard and 12th standard, they don't want to go for counseling. So I would like to remove the word counseling and use the word life coaching. So uh, the training program comes with a one-year uh, business support. One-year business support, no one will get. And uh, the investment return. Uh, you have, whatever investment you have made, that will uh, you will you may be able to get it. You will be getting two valid international certifications. That is, one is uh, school counseling and the international parenting coach. So, in school counseling, actually, we will be concentrating on the student counseling, student uh, counseling. So, the entire aspect it uh, it uh, it talks about happy homes, creating a happy home. So, we are uh, creating trainers on this uh, particular domain, creating happy homes. A happy home will be created when the children, they study well. And when the parents are able to support the children properly. So, uh, yes, a student, 6th standard to 12th standard, they may get emotional issues, academic issues, and uh, they may get uh, uh, the intellectual issues and adjustment problems. Yeah, we are going to train, we are going to train how to, how to give coaching, how to give a coaching to a sixth standard boy who is having adjustment problem, how to give coaching to a boy of a seventh standard who is scoring low mark in maths, how to give coaching to a boy uh, of a ninth standard who is having a fear uh, of examination stress. All these aspects we are going to cover in 12 days. And from that day onwards, they will start the journey with EmoCare for one year. One year, we are going to do the business. We are going to create happy homes. We are going to create happy homes. Already, I'm getting uh, more clients. We are going to charge 3,500 rupees per parent. Even if you get three clients, uh, you will be uh, getting uh, your investment back. So uh, this is uh, the plan which we are uh, going to uh, uh, start. Coming 20, it is going to start. So... Uh, uh, I'm sharing this uh, particular aspects uh, with all of you. Okay. So what are the things you will get is you will be learning memory techniques. You will be learning how to give self-confidence, self-esteem, time management to the students. Okay. How to learn smart and not hard, smart learning techniques. Then uh, how to train the student and parents on brain, mind in practical terms. No theory. Okay. How to set proper goals to the student. How that the student... Uh, various ways in creating uh, goals for the students and how to assess the study habits and create good study habits, parental coaching, how to uh, give parental coaching, how to motivate the students. There are different levels of motivation, how to uh, motivate the uh, students and how to motivate the parents also. Then uh, briefly, we will be discussing what is school counseling also. So this is actually uh, the branding for one year. What we are going to do, there is no cost. That is uh, uh, that cannot be uh, assessed. So uh, that you will be getting. That is your photo will be displayed in the website along with your credentials for one year. And uh, the regular price is fourteen thousand. And uh, for uh, some time we are giving at uh, nine thousand nine hundred ninety eight for three days. Okay. So the uh, time is running and all the frequently asked questions uh, and all it is available here. I am sharing this in the group. Whoever wants to join, they can join. So in MOCare, we don't create students. We create the leaders. Whoever trained from MOCare is having uh, ventures outside. Most of the famous ventures in mental health today, which is uh, in India, the people who are running it, they are trained from MOCare. Now, I don't want to tell the names of those people because that may not be correct. But all the famous, all the famous one are trained right from uh, the first year. There are some people who are having it, running it very nicely. They were, they have joined EmoCare when they were studying second year. Now they are uh, running famous uh, programs and we bless them. We bless them. 
and i want all of you to become an entrepreneur in mental health so that the mental health uh, sector grows when there are when there is more supply the demand will automatically increase one of the ways to increase the demand is to uh, give the supply more supply more the demand will increase so when the demand increases it is good for everyone so it is a 12 days program uh, you will be getting two valid certificate and one year support uh, from emocar the emocar people are uh, the talented people like fatma kratika shaurat uh, preeti swati uh, tabasum uh, juli uh, there are many uh, people so uh, whoever is interested they can just uh, uh, get in touch with the group admin you may be in some group you may be in some group not this group the group uh, which we have created now not this group you may be in some other group uh, get in touch with the admin of that group or get in touch with me okay get in touch with me this is my number 9962163122 we are going to take only 50 people not more than that we are going to take so uh, thank you very much team uh, tomorrow by 6 o'clock i will be uh, putting the quiz okay uh, thank you very much it's already 107 till 124 people really great up to you salute to all of you thank you are all great you are all great thank you 7 124 people magnificent superb 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 again salute 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 to all of you